Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Alright, last time we survived this ambush, we can't really do anything more here. I really wish we could have taken out that anchor that we saw, but no dice. So let's just get out of here. We're probably going to have to take another jump back because I want these Precursor Orbs. Oh, oh! I got frogged. I got frogged. I didn't even see the frog. <laughs> slow reaction is slow. Because I thought I was still charged up with Blue Eco for a minute, and then I saw the tongue. Alright, I think that should click. I'm in a different place. Where am I? Uh, I should probably get this. Is this... Ah, this is where I shoot. Is this the same tether? I, I don't think it is. I don't know why I got the blue stuff when I want the yellow stuff. Still, it is a tether, and I will shoot it. That only leaves one more. That's original, barely hanging on. Let's find the last tether. Let's see, 90 seconds into an episode, already got a power cell, that's a promising omen. In fact, I believe we're halfway through with all the power cells. I believe there's 100 in the game and we just hit 50, so we're doing pretty darn good. Right. Uh, I'm going to be getting some yellow eco I see. Question is where? Oh, right there. Um, hmm. What is the flut flut doing hey, here? The flat flat. Okay, we'll deal with him in a minute. I want to bust these boxes. I don't think there's ever a time when these vaults contain something besides precursor orbs. So anytime you see them, you're getting a buttload of precursor orbs if you can break them. This should be nope. There's still one over here. That should be all of them. Well, okay, I still left some loose, but all the boxes are broken at least. Now the flood flight can travel through that black water, obviously. You know, kind of like, he's our, he's, what? That was weird. He's our Yoshi, and he can walk through substances that we can't. Did you know that Yoshi could only do that because he was wearing boots? Like, Mario would wear boots too, right? But supposedly it was Yoshi's boots that would protect him from, like, spikes or lava or those really weird little white baby piranha bitey plants. That was the official explanation anyway. Kind of kind of weird that they did that way. I wonder if I could make it all the way across by myself without using the flat flat. The answer is no. Okay, this checkpoint I really wish was better. And if you don't remember those little white plants, I'll put up a picture of them on screen. I don't remember the official name for them, but they were like little white baby piranha plants that you would face rows and rows of in the open world, and you would either need a Yoshi or a superstar to be able to run across them. In fact, I think there was a few levels where you used them as a star run. And they were basically fancy spikes, but I think in later games, if they bit you, they would start taking coins. I don't think they did that in Super Mario World, but I'm pretty sure you did run across them in Super Mario RPG, and they did take coins there. Alright. I think we need the flat flat. Don't shake your tail feathers at me. Alright, how can you jump? Alright, you can jump. Fly. Yeah, you're pretty good. 
you're a little bit floaty, which I suppose makes sense for a bird, but I have a feeling it's probably going to bother me. But we should be able to easily collect everything now. As long as I don't go flying off into the abyss. Hey! Case in point. Can you do anything about these boxes? I don't think you can. Oh no, you just touch them and you bust them. Wow. Okay, so that's kind of your attack and it's kind of really bad. not a fan of this checkpoint really just for the fact that we always have to go through and go into first person mode and shoot these boxes and then we can continue that's kind of getting a little old run away from the f nope the frog's here okay frog is frog is strong frog is really annoying Don't you coo at me. Alright, you can go in here, but it's probably a bad idea to keep you in here. Hello, sir. We'll come back to talk to you later. I want to get all the stuff that's above you first. Flappy, flappy, flap. It is nice that this guy became a gameplay mechanic so it wasn't like you just saw him once and he miraculously survived you murdering him and then you never saw him again no he actually becomes for use later unfortunately i don't think you ever see him past this game mostly because of the events that happen once you get 100 percent of all the power cells in the game And it's actually, you actually find out by getting all of the power cells what it is that Gaul and Maya were actually trying to accomplish. They were trying to do something in particular and you actually get to do it at the end of the game. For better or worse. Uh, okay, that charge I am not a fan of at all. I mean, it's great for covering ground. It's not so good for targeting enemies. Not gonna lie. And it's very difficult to control. Oh, I almost... I thought I fell there. So we definitely have to take out those nests at some point. How did I fall off? What happened? I just got, like, pushed off. Oh my god, that's... That's annoying. I'm not a big fan of the flut flut controls. Just because he's so easy to lose control with. He is not precise at all. That can kind of be annoying. Alright. I thought maybe we had to fly over there, but that's just the cave near our checkpoint. What we're interested in is this right here. <laughs> with a special scene from Daxter. Okay, I like that. That's cute. Good work. Aren't you guys happy you saved our little flut flut friend? She may come in handy again sometime. Now, go back to the trans pad and I'll bring her home. So this flut flut is definitely a female, as Markiplier would say. I think I'm ready to bring her home yet. Or actually, I might not have a choice. Yeah, I don't have a choice. I gotta do it. Alright. So let's get off you. You can go home and have a nice sleepy sleep. We got stuff to blast. And blast we shall with enthusiasm and gusto. 
from the long range where we're perfectly safe. As God intended when he invented guns. I'm not you know, I thought yellow eco was like the eco of defense, but now I'm not sure you ever get told what it is in this game. I don't know. Maybe it, when we meet the yellow sage, he'll tell us. Maybe it's just the eco of guns. That's an interesting screen to be stuck on. Not quite get that precursor orb, so it kind of stars. All right, I'll take it. I, if I'm gonna die, I want my death screens to be random. Screens, not screams. Did I say screams? I don't want those to be random. Those are gonna be pretty much like, oh god, no, it burns. God, someone help. Why isn't anybody helping? Aww. Whew. I juked the frog. I can feel good about myself for all five seconds. I thought I was gonna get the chance to shoot him. Now we've got... Did they... I don't see that precursor orb over there. Did it count me as getting that or not? I'm gonna be like really irritated if somehow we glitched the, the game and I can't get all the precursor orbs. No, okay, there it is. There's the one that I didn't get. Good. Good, good, good. That would have been so bad. And just my luck, really. Carefully get the good stuff and avoid the bad stuff. What just hit me? What was that? Something hit me and I do not appreciate that. That was weird. Let's try not to think too much about it. That was weird. Run away. All right, sir. I think we're ready for you now. Howdy, friends. Enjoying my beautiful swamp? I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. Aww. Been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. Those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? So this is kind of a tower defense Good. mode. Let's give it a shot. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep them from eating at least one of them snacks. Wink. Okay, here we go. This is one of those things where, yeah, you only want to use one stick at a time because as we've noticed in the first episode, your controls are reversed between sticks, which is really really odd I can kind of see that as a design choice that they might have made how many are we defending five it you know because some people are going to be used to inverse and some people are going to be used to non-inverse but usually that's a menu option and uh, they are getting really close Oof. save them uh, usually that's a menu option that you choose not arbitrarily tied to which analog stick you're playing with. Fortunately, we're right on top of that yellow eco. We got a steady supply. We're just gonna stick here in turret mode. I think this might be the last wave. I'm glad that they pause here to smell the food directly in front of them. That's that's really kind. 
Yeehaw! Dude, are you... I guess you're just a hillbilly. I guess you're not any particular hillbilly trope. Just well, a generic... You sure know how to shoot. I just hate for the help. Ooh, saved all five. I'll take it. And I'm guessing that's his hip hog. Aw. It's kind of cute. Alright, where are we going from here? Not back that way. I... Did I hear a scout fly? I think I do. Maybe? Uh-oh. Maybe I just heard, heard mousies. That sounds kind of like a scout fly. Maybe I heard a scout fly and I missed it completely. Kind of hard to tell because this game is kind of loud. I, I cannot deny that. And, and headphones, this game is very loud. Ow. Oh, really? That was my last hit? Well, at least we're only back here. Much better checkpoint. I like this checkpoint. And even if you have to deal with these Mises, you can blast the Mises to pieces. I do kind of like it when games do this Gauntlet Legends sort of thing. That was always a really neat mechanic to me when I played Gauntlet Legends. There's infinite spawners. I don't know why. It was just always... Maybe because I was like five and I thought the weirdest things were cool. Ah, there's the last scout fly. Okay, good. But I'm gonna need some of the yellow stuff, it looks like. There's, let's go ahead and pick this up. Did you just seriously like throw it over there? Thank you, scout fly. You, you're not the best. You're kind of crappy, actually. The only good thing is the Dark Eco blew open these chests here. How are we doing on Precursor Orbs, by the way? 30. Halfway there for the game, as far as that's concerned. We need 30 more. Oh, good. Extra hit. I, I, I really wanted to see that. I'm not, not even uh, being sarcastic about that. I don't know why I would be. But sometimes it's hard to tell with me. Come on, jump, 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 jump. Now shoot everything except the things I want. There. Yay. Platforming. Gotta go fast. And also, gotta pray you don't die. Uh, you want to shoot that one there, Jack, and then these things? That'd be super. I'm super. Thanks for asking. God. There's a character. Yeah, not sh surprised I died there. God, I haven't seen... Uh... What was his name? A, a South Park character. Big Gay Owl? I think that was his name. Did he even show up past, like, season four? It seemed like after Mr. Slave came on the show, you didn't see Big Gay Al anymore. Mr. Slave and Mr. Garrison became the, the homosexual tropes. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but, you know, I hope that doesn't sound like it was a bad thing, but that's kind of what I feel they were. They were a very flamboyant idea of homosexuals, so it kind of felt tropey to me. But, like I said, I don't think I mean that in a bad way. Because if, if it sounds like I, I said it in a bad way, then I really do apologize, because it was not my intention. But yeah, I did not... I don't think you ever saw a big gay owl after, after uh, Mr. Garrison came out as a homosexual. 
interesting now that I think about it. Am I going to have enough to do what I need to do with this? Probably not. <laughs> uh, okay. I think I'm going to probably die here? No. I can't get out, but kind of would have preferred to die. Alright, let's blast it in first person view. And there's one more. One more precursor orb to get. Well, we're never going to find out what the rest of that line was, but yeah, that Zeppelin was basically pulling up a gigantic precursor robot. So by severing its... Now how it was doing that while it was anchored? I have no idea. But severing its anchors fixed everything because video games... Unfortunately, we're never going to find out what else Samus was going to say about it. Oops. Inconvenient death is inconvenient. I don't know why I can do that so easily sometimes and so poorly other times. Case in point. So much easier when you're powered up with the blue stuff. It just is. I kind of wish they gave you more of that when you're out here platforming. Because it feels like just a really pathetic jump a lot of times otherwise. Okay, I need to bring this down a little bit lower. Cannot get it with a high jump, okay. Kinda wish you could. At least we can get up here. Alright, can I get it on the way down? It looks kinda doable if the camera cooperates. Yes. Carefully back across the ooze. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have a long range fight, which means I'm probably going to die here. Yep. I double jumped, I swear to god. I apparently I had another hit and I didn't realize it. Wow. Go me. Would have been nice to realize that a lot faster than I did. I blame the beer. Because I'm like, okay, so I've got some beer. It's Friday night. I'm enjoying myself. Lining up to do the second recording session of uh, Resident Evil 2. Going to be doing some Claire playthrough. So I was like, you know what? I really want some beer tonight. So I've had a couple already. Try not to promote drinking on this channel, but uh, it's really good beer. Uh, it's a grapefruit shandy from, or no, a grapefruit hefeweizen from uh, imported from Germany. It's actually slightly sweet, which I thought was really interesting for a hefeweizen. Unfortunately, they're not going to be carrying it in the store much longer, so I picked some up while I could. Let's waste the bullets. Much better! Oh, thank god I made it. Oh, we got ourselves a little gauntlet here. We got no mind. Uh. 
No orb left behind! Which means we left these two behind. And that's all the, the orbs in Boggy Swamp. And all the pre the power cells. Very, very nice. And with that, I think we're going to call it an episode here, guys. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. Next time, we got some vehicle goodness to look forward to. A lot of racing around with trying to herd lightning moles and then trying to beat that track record. And after that, I think we just need to go and uh, pay off a bunch of the villagers and then take on another boss. So I'll see you then. Y'all have a great day, and uh, later. <laughs>